This is Susan London reporting from the annual meeting of the American Society of Clinical Oncology in Chicago. I'm talking with Dr. Axel Hauschild about the BREAK3 trial. Can you tell us a little bit about your findings? The BREAK3 trial was a trial comparing a new BRAF inhibitor to conventional chemotherapy with dark harvacine. It was a head-to-head -head comparison of the two drugs in an open-label setting, and it shows striking results, you know, in favor of dabrafenib compared to conventional chemotherapy. Okay, was there any evidence that certain groups of patients benefited more from dabrafenib than others? So there was a 70% improvement in progression-free survival uh, for the patients with dabrafenib compared to uh, chemotherapy. And we analyzed all the subgroups, and I will present it tomorrow morning, and in all the subgroups, the patients with dabrafenib did significantly better. So this means that also patients with very high tumor load are doing better when they got uh, a BRAF inhibitor. But only the patients, you know, who have a BRAF mutation, because this trial was only done in BRAF mutated patients. And can you compare dabrafenib with vemurafenib for us? Yeah, that would be an unfair comparison, because this is not a hair to head uh, trial, you know, the drugs were not co compared. But, you know, since the trial design is almost identical, with one major difference, this is a 3 to 1 randomization from dabafenib to DTIC, and the other trial, the BRIM3 trial from Vemurafenib presented last year, was a 1 to 1 comparison. You know, there were significantly higher patient numbers. So, but, you know, let's speculate the results on the progression free survival are almost the same. The results on the disease, uh, on the uh, uh, response rate is almost the same, but we cannot provide overall survival because here the patients got a crossover. 68% of DTIC treated patients got dabrafenib when they had a progressive disease, and therefore it will be difficult to spec you laid on the uh, difference in overall survival. All the other parameters are almost the same. There is one difference, and this is toxicity. We reported for dabrafenib lower numbers of patients with epithelial skin cancer, like keratoacanthomas and squamous cell carcinomas, and lower numbers of patients with photosensitivity. Thanks for your time. You're welcome.